let us now talk about correlated Brownian motion. I have already talked about correlated random walk in time series. Here the perspective is going to be on stochastic differential equations. So rather than focusing on time equals to 1, we are going to take time as t, which could be as small as possible or as large as you want it to be. So say you have following correlated Brownian motion model. So say there are three commodities you are worried about. One is steel, second is wrought iron, and third is cast iron. So these three commodities have correlated prices. So say that this is the price of steel, this is the price of wrought iron, and this is the price of cast iron. So the shocks you expect to be correlated. So these shocks are correlated. So what do we mean by this? So if the price of steel goes up, you expect the price of wrought iron also to go up and the price of cast iron also to go up. In case the price of wrought iron goes down, you expect the cast iron price to go down and uh, the price of steel to go down. So they are in some sense correlated. So correlation means that you are drawing them, this dVIT, that is 1t, 2t and 3t, these are drawn from a multivariate normal distribution. So they are drawn from the same normal distribution and there is a variance covariance matrix sigma. Now I have already talked about how to compute this variance covariance matrix and uh, what things you should keep in mind in my lectures on time series. So you should have a look there about what a variance covariance matrix is. Now coming back to this lecture, you can use a Cholesky decomposition to find a matrix A such that A times A transpose is this variance covariance matrix sigma. Now the beauty of Cholesky decomposition is that say you're given these uh, normally distributed IIDs. So there are normally distributed independent uh, variables which are drawn from a normal 0, 1 distribution. So this is already implemented. Now this you can convert into random variables drawn from normal 0 sigma. So that you can do by doing the Cholesky decomposition of this matrix sigma and then you multiply this matrix A with Z normally distributed. You will get random variables drawn from this distribution normal with mean 0 and variance covariance sigma. So this is a mouthful to say but we are going to now see it in action and see how to do this. So we will rewrite this equation above like this. So first focus on the left hand side. So I have copied all the terms here, here x1 t, x2 t, x3 t, so d's and then drift b1 x1 t, b2 x2 t, b3 x3 t. And this is correlated random variables. This I have decomposed into, these are drawn from normal 0, 1. So from dv, we are going to dw. And to do so, we first have to find a variance covariance matrix sigma. Then we will do a Cholesky de decomposition of it. And this matrix A is right here. So this we will compute now. Uh, we will take an example and uh, do it. So let us go through the R code. So you go, you're going to require the package OEMA. The solution is of three things, X1, X2 and X3. So we are going to solve the future prices of steel, wrought iron and cast iron. So this is our solution set. This is our drift, B1, X1, T, B2, X2, T, B3, X3, T. So B1, X1, B2, X2, B3, X3. So I've copied this right here. Now say we have a variance covariance matrix. So you have three things. So you have a three by three variance covariance matrix. Again, if you do not know what a variance covariance matrix is, have a look at my time series lecture. So this three by three matrix for steel, wrought iron and cast iron, I'm just putting in some numbers. So these numbers are two, one, three, that is the first row, then 142 
and then 3 to 5. So notice that variance covariance matrix is always equal to its transpose and that you have to check uh, before you do Cholesky decomposition. So, so this is the covariance matrix. This is inputting the parameters in a list. So this is inputting C1 right here and making it a 3 by 3 matrix. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So before I do Cholesky decomposition, I have to check whether it is equal to its transpose. So this is double equal to sign means it will check. So notice I have a semicolon here because uh, uh, I'm running all these three commands in a single line. So this will do the this command chol right here will do a Cholesky decomposition. And then I'm going to set the diffusion matrix as the Cholesky decomposition matrix. So notice that this is the diffusion of the multivariate stochastic differential equation and this is the drift. So we're going to set the model drift as this drift right here which is this term diffusion as diff the diffusion is the Cholesky decomposed that is this part and we are going to solve the variables solution you're going to solve for x1 x2 and x3 you can also set the initial values. So I've set the initial value as one, two, and three. So one is initial value of X1, that is steel say. Two is initial value of say wrought iron. And three is initial value of say cast iron. So I've just taken these three terms. You can just set your own values. Then we are going to simulate it. So before you simulate it, notice that you have given some uh, constants here, B1, B2, and B3. So these constants have to be set. So B1 you set as 0.5, B2 is 0.6, B3 is 0.7, give your own values. And then we are going to plot X. So when you plot X, you will have three values, X1, X2, and X3. So we are not going to use any special grid here. So you will see 100 data points. And this is the various covariance matrix which are feeding in. So let us see this in R and uh, run it and see what it shows. So you can copy paste the code from the description of the video. So let us run this. So we have, we have a covariance matrix. So let us uh, now check whether it is equal to its transpose. So true, 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 true. It gives true for all the three by three entries here for this matrix. So we can do the Cholesky decomposition. More specifically, your your matrix has to be positive definite. So now we do the Cholesky decomposition of the matrix. So we are going to set diff equals to Cholesky and we are going to see the matrix. So this is our matrix. The first column is 1.41, the second column is 0 0.7071 and 1.8 and the third column is this. So this is our matrix which we talked about so this is the matrix C1, C2, C3, 0, C4, C5, 0, 0, C6. And that is precisely this matrix. So once you have this matrix, everything is easy. Now you set drift as drift, diffusion as diffusion. And we have already talked about this. Let us just run this now. So we will get three graphs. You see this X3 starts at 3 x2 starts at 2, x1 starts at 1 and these three are uh, correlated and obviously they depend upon the correlation matrix I fed in. They also depend upon these parameters. So depending upon the parameters you feed in the correlation matrix you will get a plot. And uh, you can run this a thousand times or ten thousand times and make appropriate probability distributions for your three uh, three metals or three commodities you feed in and then you can uh, bet in the market accordingly.